Hello from Oregon, this is Ross. I'm gonna do a little video to show how the stock two by six bed solution with plywood and two by six is real simple. Uh, looks with the uh, RSI smart cap when you have the kitchen, which is what we have over here on the left. I did a previous sort of humorous video last uh, year, I think, before I had received the shell. I had the kitchen, but not the shell. And um, now that I've got the shell and the kitchen, this is a great product. Um, and we love it. We've been using it uh, constantly all over Oregon and we went to Yellowstone. And you know, the best part about it is the coffee maker, I have to say. But we wanted to um, make a little bed. So I have a little video here because I couldn't find anything on YouTube. So I thought I'd do one. And hopefully this will help somebody else who's thinking about maybe sleeping in the back of their RSI smart cap and what, how much clearance there is and what it looks like in a short bed. Thanks. Yeah, so this is um, our smart cap situation when we actually use it. Um, there's issues with, you got to be careful with the hose on the right, not scratching the side of the truck, which I've scratched. And there's a stool, but I found some adult Legos from an outdoor stage company and actually make a little platform that uh, folds up. I may have a video on the platform that we use. Um, it's really great. Um, and it's from an outdoor stage company, and they're just a basically adult Legos that are about uh, 14 inches long by 7 inches high, and you can build any kind of structure. All right, so today I wanted to go and figure out what the bed looks like if you use the stock 2x6 arrangement, put 2x6 in, and plywood, and what's the situation here on the right for sleeping in the back if you're just gonna use the five and a half foot bed. We bought a tent that goes on the back of the truck that we'll probably be using on this trip, but we're gonna, not gonna take our RV. We have to go to Colorado and uh, haul our daughter's stuff and have a U-Haul. So we're thinking about sleeping in the truck because we think that might be fun. We're that kind of people. And uh, so we're just taking a look at this to see what we have. Okay, so this is what the RSI smart cap looks like with the kitchen and the standard two by six arrangement to put in a floor or a bed area and a four by eight sheet of sanded plywood. So I just uh, got the truck cleaned out. I'm just looking at it. We're gonna try to put poodles or something because you, you can really damage your head by that corner if you're in and out of this. So looking at that, but it gives you a sense of what it looks like. Um, you know, I'll cut this sheet and then we'll get a better sense here in a minute. So this is what it looks like after you cut a four by eight sheet plywood down to five and a half feet and lay it up there. I haven't decided how I'm going to finish the edges where I'm going to put hinges or split this piece in half or what yet, but, uh, gives you perspective, how much room you have. There's some wheel wells down there and let's see the inches. So some measurements, the, um, height of the of the bottom of the bed is about nine inches from the bottom of the bed um, and then the two by six is you know one and a half inches so your clearance is about um, seven and a half inches for tubs and there's a tub that we found that will fit really well so this is a ziploc tub that my wife had bought and i used it in the rv for my um stabilizer blocks and I've got my little Harbor Freight screwdriver drill um, and this is beat to heck it's we're gonna replace it but it's about the same as the one she's purchased my wife's gonna purchase six of these and they fit they're about seven inches she, she said online that these are 7.1 inches and they fit just fine under there so it's a 6.6 .6 gallon this is the part number but we're gonna get some more of these bins to slide under there and we'll see how that works um, there is a commercially available product you know bed slider I think it's like fifteen hundred dollars that looks pretty sweet but I didn't want to invest that kind of money plus of course my propane tank won't fit and I use that for the grill um, the smart cap grill so I'd have to think of some other solution there if I got one of those of course I could probably let it roll around in the back um, but yeah this is just what the uh, you know a couple sheets of plywood and two two by sixes look like so you can get a feel I was looking online to see what it would look like before I spent any money and I didn't see anything on YouTube so I'm hoping this helps others so the width is about 60 
and it goes to 68 inches over there yeah, about 68 inches um, from wall to wall but I think you know your actual usable width because of the the corners is probably more like uh, well, let me measure it so the width here in the bit top of the bed is about 64 inches yeah just a little over 64 inches at the narrowest this is the gadget we use to finish the corners measure these edges and just sort of eyeball it all right this is the rsi smart cap with uh four by eight two i cut two four by eight sheets of plywood up and there's the two by sixes underneath spanning the the bed there you can see the two two by sixes and uh just did a little bit of beveling for my bed i've got a bed rug which is a wonderful product i really recommend this bed rug um, and uh yeah so this is just the first cut just to see how it would work we wanted to figure out how much leg room would there be and could two adults sleep in the short bed um of the crew max and it looks like it'll work for the one or two days we're planning to do it um otherwise we have an rv that we normally tow so but that's this is the uh smart cap kitchen which we love and uh, there's the, the locking table we're probably going to put some lights in here next so uh, and a fan and i may have another video after that so i hope you got something out of the video um i don't know if i'm ever going to make many more of these but uh the next one we might do would be uh we've got the miller uh trifold mattresses i bought two cot width they're 31 inches they're four inches thick and so I bought those, they're 100 and something. We were looking at Cabela's at getting a sleeping mat, about 150 for a sleeping mat. And these trifold mattresses look great um, because they can fold them up and stow them. And the cot width seems good because it's easier to manage a, a, two smaller mattresses than a big one, I think, especially for my wife. Uh, so uh, two 31 inch wide uh, mattresses are gonna be a little bit wider than the bed. So I plan on cutting them uh that'll be fun so uh any rate if i do that video i'll post it um again i hope this helps others again this is a toyota 2019 toyota crew max uh, pickup and um uh, we love it um and uh hope you got something out of the video thank you